Hello everyone. So today, as promised, is gonna be uh, part two of the my subwoofer design, which is to do the actual box. So if you remember the last time, and if you were if you're new, uh, last video I did was tutorial of WinISD, and I modeled this uh, response for my subwoofer in a ported box. It's an Alpine Type X. So I kind of agreed on three and a half cubic feet tuned to 30 Hertz and this port 37 centimeters. So I would have what I need to have. And now, because this, as I mentioned in the previous video, this is only the net volume of the inside chamber, but it doesn't give me the box itself. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Google and to Subbox Pro. And this is what you're looking for subbox.pro in so this is software is free again you can use it as much as you want and it does uh, basically it has a 3d model of a box of an enclosure and it's going to be all the dimensions and what you need uh, to cut so let's make a subwoofer box now is is by default it gives me some like random box so from when isd i know i'm gonna change this to liters for me it's gonna be much easier so 99 liters so let's say 100 liters okay here in the top we have inches and millimeters and liters i'm gonna choose liters and i'm gonna have a port to the box now these are the main dimensions of your enclosure so width height depth and volume so you have control over width and height and depending on the volume that you need to have the program itself is going to adjust and calculate the depth so uh, it sounds very easy however when you're making a subwoofer box uh, let's change it Let's go to the port and change it to slot. It's going to be easier to see. Calculate. There we go. So when you have a subwoofer box, yeah, and let's say this is by default. So this is width 60. Uh, here, if I'm going to go to dimensions and details, it's going to show me the actual dimensions. Yeah. So 60 centimeters and three and a half and four. Uh, 43 so this 65 liters internal volume is just this volume inside and it doesn't count the port the port has a totally different volume and that depends on the tuning frequency so if you um, multiply this uh, with a height and depth you're gonna have the gross volume of the box and not the net internal so you're gonna get this one total internal volume so um, in my car I can fit the widest box uh, it's one meter 100 uh, hundred centimeters however it's, it's gonna be so tight that I literally I don't know if I will be able to put it in so I'm gonna aim for 900 millimeters or 90 centimeters so that I would have like five centimeters from one side and five centimeters from the other side. Now, height and depth, I would like it to be the same. So it's just easier for me to cut same sheets, all four, all four of the same width and volume. So net internal volume, if I'm going to win ISD is 99.1. So let's put 99 liters and press enter uh, material thickness so I have some uh, spare MDF that is 15 mils it's not 18 so it's a bit thinner on the thinner side which is fine if you want you can double baffle but I'm gonna use single because it's just a test enclosure so now I have this now I'm gonna go to port and port is gonna be slot on the side tuning frequency if I'm going to go to WinISD is 30 Hertz. So let's put 30 Hertz. 
Now it doesn't give you port dimensions because the dimensions depend on the size of your box because it's a slot port, yeah? But we have a port area. So if we go to WinISD again, uh, vents, here, cross area is 210 square centimeters. This is my area. So I'm gonna put this one uh, to 10 and press enter. And it's gonna calculate how long it's supposed to be and how big is the box. So port dis displacement, see 12 liters, so it's like less than half a cube. But yeah, port length, everything. So I'm gonna go back to box and now I'm gonna manipulate these two, this one height, so I would have the same depth. So it's just gonna be easier for me. So if you remember in WinISD, I was thinking to have, because I put when, vent um, height of 30 centimeters, but I'm thinking I will need to make it a bit bigger. So I'm gonna try to put, let's put 400, see what happens. So 400, 377, very similar. So let's put uh, 380, just to make it even, uh, 390, there we go. So this is, because it's just easier to cut the same sheet. So it's basically I have almost 40 times 40 times 900. So this is my box, this is my port, internal volume 99 liters, which is amazing. Uh, now what you can do is you can choose th this, the subwoofer that you use for this, it doesn't really matter because it's just for, it's just a picture just to have it there. So it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just for fun, uh, you can add a woof of displacement, let's say five liters, it's not much. And I'm gonna offset it just to, for it to look better because now it's in the middle. So you can put it on one side or on the other side. So I did play with this. I'm gonna put minus 200. Yeah, and now I have it on the side where I'm supposed to have it. Okay, so this is how it looks like, the box. Now, is it realistic? So if you can see from the box, uh, total internal volume, 116 liters. So it added to that 99 liters that I needed to have, that's three and a half cubic foot. It added all of this. And with these, uh, with height and depth, it adds as well the materials, the thickness. So as you can see from three and a half cubic foot, the box is much, much bigger than three and a half, but it is what it is. So this is very, very quick tutorial on just you're putting what you have from WinISD and just manipulate until you're gonna have whatever you need to have so that it would fit. And before making this, you actually should check if 900 times 39 times four is gonna fit in your car. And the last thing that you can, if you go here on plan, you press on plan, and it's gonna give you the plan how it looks like. So it's like a sketch. And at the bottom, you have all of the data for the whole box and all the panels that you need to cut. So you see all of these like, uh, front, rear, left, right, I have all of them the same width, 360, 360, 360, 360, so it's just easier for me to cut same sheets, yeah? And um, if I just quickly for you guys, for Americans, change to inches in cubic feet, so it's gonna be easier for you to see. So we have a box of 35, 15, 15 inches, so it's, kind of squarish and long. Material thickness, uh, I don't know, 0.6 inch. Uh, net internal volume as I wanted, three and a half cubic feet, tuned to 30 Hertz. Port area, I have 
32 and a half square inches if it helps you and the port so the port is a bit different uh, it's 2.3 times 14 just because uh, let me change it back to millimeters it's just for me because my brain doesn't work so it says uh, 360 times 58 in win ISD we had 3 times 7 so this new port is uh, taller but not as wide but the thing is the port area is exactly the same that is the most important thing the port the, the area is supposed to be as it's supposed to be because otherwise if you're going to shrink the port area uh, if you remember this air velocity if you shrink the port area the velocity is going to go up and you're going to hear chuffing if you increase the port area the velocity is going to go down you're not going to hear it however it's going to take from your net internal space and i don't want that i want it to be as big as possible three and a half cubic feet cool so this is very simple very easy um, just a very quick tutorial how to use Subbox Pro and this is the box that I am going to make I'm gonna try to make as close as I can to this and just see what happens yeah so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one